That's what matters. And Sugar is gonna talk about this very thing. Without buns, <laughs> that nigga is popular for being that nigga. That chick's what that's husband. true. <laughs> I want guys like Dino is cooking him in the comments, bro. Mm. Saying be strong, sister Shaki. <laughs> <laughs> How long does it take you to have a body firmware update? As in, in terms of what? <laughs> firmware update. Like your skill are just. That guy is really a nerd. This guy is really a nerd. Okay. That guy brings everything back to computers. <laughs> Keeping the body constant. First chill this jazz off over she's growing older, over she's getting fat, whatever. <laughs> she's constant. The, constant the changes are negligible. Though. That's like Facebook, bro. I'm <laughs> that shit is rare, bro. <laughs> Me, if I'm in a committed relationship, to go back to the question. Not even satisfy like your younger ego, like your chi form three avatar. That's the problem. That's bro. Very, no, that's where that's the, the issue is. Just like man, you get we did it. <laughs> yeah, she finally came around, man. Okay, that's well, where the real issue is. We had it in us. We had it in us. It was just yeah. the system. You have to quit yeah. the eighteen-year-old, bro. Tricky. Yeah, okay, we're starting the pod off on a <laughs> hot <laughs> note, bro. Damn. You feel like sin has left your body. Eh? Kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. While we were in uh, bar, <laughs> me and my. Are you recording? Uh, okay. While we were in bar, me and my roommate used to use incense as <laughs> air freshener. <bro. laughs> <laughs> After taking a nap, he has light like an incense <laughs> and leave, bro. In the bathroom. <laughs> in the toilet. Yeah, in the bathroom. Must have been concentrated. It worked though, bro. Yeah. It used to work perfectly. Like when you enter, you can even take away mosquitoes. Like that's what I when usually use it for. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Guys use for mosquitoes. Guys use yeah. for uh, flies. Be as funny in your team. Right. Uh, <laughs> it was meant to chase it. Honestly, they make the honey so man. They have the rights. Yeah, fair, fair man. Fair. Yeah. We're actually exploiting yeah. them, bro. That's yeah. the truth. Are we? But now you see, yeah. it has chosen to die. In a yeah, cup yeah. of like and sweetness, we bro. <laughs> I can't even help because I hope it will come and B sting. Movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. So man, at the end of the day, they just walk, walk until they die. They so die. Man, this is, this is that B movie, the animation. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I think it was too, too old, <laughs> too old. Wait, you think it was live action? No, 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 no. <laughs> <Crazy>. <laughs> so hear me out. This is my thought process. There is the B movie. Mm. Is is it a kill and the B? Then there's the beekeeper, the new one. Oh. So in my head, I was mm. mixing all of them, bro. I hear yeah. you. Mm. <coughs> Why you guys like me? There weren't any... Okay, I remember there were bees. In the but I didn't see any bees. There was one scene. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, in yeah, the yeah. intro. Nah, yeah, I, I, I won't lie. That's still one of my coldest movies of this year because it had no plot, just beatings. That movie was, like, objectively terrible, bro. Beekeeper mm. was, mm. Bee was this year. It was this year, wasn't it? That movie yeah, was it was. Sure, man, it was so these bad. They just ran through you, like this monkey man thing. Mm. I still haven't watched that. The monkey man was cool me for me. Monkey man, it's only the bad it. thing. But the story. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. My if Indians. <laughs> Every. <laughs> but, yeah. If, and I watched that movie with Indians yeah. in the cinema, man. Hey, hey, hey. There's there a hype. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For the, but, the, the, the monkey man, yeah? Yeah. yeah. But I'll tell you this. Here's the thing. We've received so many movies with underlying stories, what, mob plot, the plot is connected to what, what, Beekeeper, Monkey Man, those types of movies, mm-hmm. where it's just the movie. Mm. I enjoyed them this year, bro. Like, zero plot, just beat a guy and Straight remove. Kill I feel like for Melvin, it has a lot to do with the story. Yeah. Right, maybe I'm that's a, why you don't I'm find a drama it guy, nice. Like, yeah. I like for... I like to even hear like the dialogue, mm. the monologues. <laughs> like, I like I like shit like that, bro. I like the action as well. Don't get me don't get me wrong. Mm. Like I like John Wick, mm. but oh. I like the first John Wick more than the last one. I hear yeah, that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah, when yeah. he had something to fight for, as dumb as it was, he was That's fighting for his man, dog yeah. that they had killed. <laughs> <laughs> that for, like that made more sense to me mm. than the last movie where this guy is just fight. I don't even know what that guy is fighting for anymore, man. <laughs> Wait, you know like, that some guys I even forgot that his wife died or gave him that dog. See? Some guys that then there's also the ring. Grew up with that what, dog wasn't he fighting for the ring? <laughs> in, in, in the last movie. I think they chopped off the ring when, he, when they think he's his ring finger. finger. Yeah. The, ring thing, that, uh, the ring thing was to like exonerate him. Yeah, for his wife. Yeah, yeah something like wife. that. My God. Damn, you're actually right. Exactly, I don't no story. <laughs> but by the way... Yeah. I don't remember a plot of John Wick 4. Yeah. But I remember the beatings. I remember the dogs. <laughs> Those <laughs> dogs were sick. I, mean, I, mean, I remember <laughs> the blind guy. My, that, my, that, that blind guy. Uh, 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 that guy was bad news. Guy that guy was bad. He was blind his, guy. He was his bro. Blind guy. 
in January. The blind guy who put at the That guy would put like doorbells around, tap yeah. the doorbell, then like slap the again. John Wick yeah. four. Yeah. yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Wasn't it? He was his brother. I think they were like associates. Yeah, 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 yeah like yeah, partners yeah. or yeah. some like, shit. But I won't lie. Um, one of my favorite characters in that movie appeared the list. The Japanese guy from Shogun. What's his name again? Yeah, uh, that guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Every movie that guy has acted in, he has never missed for me. Yeah, but he's the never. same guy. Really? He's, yeah, he's the, the same, same for guy, him. Man. <laughs> he's usually a <laughs> boss, a crime like boss. The generic, so he's the uh, same say character. Generic, yeah. but like the same Asian old guy. And yeah. he does it so like, well. That's my point. Like the guy who's facing out like Jack Chan, that stereotype. Yeah. Yeah, they want to face out mm. Morgan Freeman with mm. John Carlo. Yeah. That mm. The Breaking Bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they want to like put a new bl- like iconic new face in there. Yeah. Nah, yeah. that guy is like a, he's always a yakuza boss, man. In every single movie, <laughs> that's actually true. Yeah. Every single that's actually movie, true. That's actually yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back to our Just podcast. I am Melvin. Uh, Sydney, Collins, Stephen. Today we are joined by Stephen, a patron. Um, this is going to be our first episode back on YouTube mm. for like three months. Yeah. Uh, I won't lie. Yeah. I went like to the back end. Yeah. And I saw our last episode was like eighty something days ago. I was yeah, like, man, huh? it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while, but we're back. Uh the patrons have eaten too well, man. Mm. I think it's time for other guys to also And they'll eat. continue eating. Yeah, Don't fair. get us wrong. Yeah. Fair play, fair <laughs> play. Shout out to everyone who subscribed to the Patreon while we were off the main page. Um we needed a bit of a break. Uh Obviously, I know guys are going to ask why Magic isn't here. Um, hopefully, Magic will actually come and just tell guys why he isn't here. Yeah, probably. But Magic won't be here for a little bit. He is figuring some stuff out. Um, for now, you'll just have to deal with the two of us, the three of us. Don't um, just for me, man. You know guys can yeah, be Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> fuck this new guy. <laughs> this, this guy, guy is dying out in the gut. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah you learn to, you learn to love. <laughs> I'm sure guys already have clocked that you're the voice. Yeah. It's your first time appearing... Uh, like F- with a FPL, face. the FPL mm. team, but guys didn't. Guys were still unconvinced that you were the voice. Guys in the anymore. comments, well, who are you're talking about like appearing on uh, FPL. Yeah, used yeah, to be back appearing here. on. Sorry, on used in to be front back here when, when Jesse was there. Him, he's the voice. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Ah, he yeah. doesn't know. No, yeah. okay, but let me tell you. Let me tell you. I could imagine he looks like that. Can I say it on camera? How how Wendy looks like? <laughs> no, but I, w- I won't say it. But my dear guy, you won't imagine now. It's when calm. It's like yeah, calm. Yeah, it's calm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Can you yeah. tell us what you thought when he looked yeah, like? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. <laughs> when I had my all kinds of AI-generated images, but yeah. just, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> just no. <laughs> but I just felt like it was okay. If I give it, if I give too much away, I would say what is not because I feel like he was like a short tech guy who had like. Computers around him, like <laughs> short like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. yeah, like yeah. yeah. That's how he sounds. <laughs> oh, that's he looks so like pretty funny. cool to me. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, he's not even yeah, like yeah. he doesn't look it. But you don't look it, yeah. yeah. I think I'm also nerdy. True, true. Yeah, we're all a bit yeah. nerdy. Yeah. It depends what a nerd is. Man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, nerds, you can be a nerd, you are into movies and stuff, but man, book wise, mm. yeah. yeah. you're taking L's. <laughs> Factors. He has described me, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're smart with everything else <laughs> except that shit that matters. I bro. won't lie. School? Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. Yeah. Bruh, speaking of FPL. Uh, Premier League season starts this weekend. Mm-hmm. You guys have been blowing up my phone asking if we're going to do MJPL this this, uh, this season. We have like three days to think about it, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, some should have discovered about myself with fantasy leagues. <coughs> I always end up giving up. Man, me, let I me tell give you, up. Like the first four game three quarters weeks, into um, the season. Day. I so. give up, bro. And that season we were like making guys pay to join the league. What, 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 what? And it was calm, but I lost gas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just lost gas. It was too much admin. Yeah. yeah. It was like, it was just long. So I think if we're doing, okay, you first finish. Yeah, no, so I think we should do an MJPL league, but this time it's like, it's free. Just, we just, let's just put the yeah. code up. 
Mm. That's what I was going to say. Guys can join how they want to join. Yeah. You'll get guys. Yeah, we'll figure out like what to do for the guy who wins that thingy. Yeah. So yeah, join our MJPL league. We'll put the we'll put the code up maybe on our Instagram. Mm. Um you can find it there. And maybe even on the next episode we might put the code up so guys can join. Um I think the next episode will drop before the Premier League season begins. Is there a game on Friday? Mm. There should be. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Yeah, I don't think so. No, no. On that weekend. Mm. Yeah. Because, like, the early is beginning with the game on Friday. Mm. Unless it's this week, it's Saturday till Monday. There is. Manu Fulham. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. What time? Uh, 10 p.m. Crazy. Yeah, 10 p.m. Ah, okay, 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 okay. <coughs> so that's that, man. MJPL, I guess we'll start that. Yeah. Uh, at least we'll start the, what do you call it? The league. I don't know if we're going to do the pod again, bro. You guys have too much jazz, man. Those pods are like five hours long. Yeah, man. You guys, you guys made us. Um, yeah. But we'll but see. Speaking of that, I just want to shout out a pod yeah. called The Match Point. Have you seen it? Match Point? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, four people. It's basically a football pod. Okay. So, I mean, go check them out, man. Are you Ugandan pod? Yeah. Match Point. Hey. Mm. Match Point, huh? Match Point. Yeah. The are they discussing point. soccer? Yeah. yeah. Mm. The match point. Go check them out on Twitter. You know, <laughs> you know, Van Dem. <laughs> like soccer one. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, I fuck with her. Yeah. She's, she's so good she, at the field. She's so good. At <laughs> she <FPL>. was <laughs> cooking us, and bro. she was cooking us with jazz. Yeah. Wait, she? Yeah. yeah. She. I yeah. 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 Oh, she was cooking, and she had the most jazz in her group, bro. Crazy. Bro. I won't lie. She's a city fan, though. She cooked us with jazz. She's a city fan, though. Mm. Uh, Relax. That's why she loses points. <laughs> <laughs> How old is she? Don't worry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be a city fan as an adult. But yeah, that uh, much point. Go check out that pod because I think they're doing very hard. hard they're hard, doing hard, very hard, good hard, work. Hard. Yeah. 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 That's basically it, man. Okay, dope, man. Yeah. Um, what do you guys want to discuss today, bro? Hmm. I mean, we touch the weekends, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, how are you guys' weekends, bro? I weekend was calm. We didn't record Friday, did we? No, we, no. Didn't. we didn't. So I went to Meraki as usual. Good time. Mm. Good time. This time I was seated, man. I wasn't on Yeah, so you seated, man. I was like, hey, man, there must not be any chicks here today, bro. If this guy is seated, there. Relax, they were there. Must not have been your chicks. Yeah, they are. Hmm. I know. This is Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Fair, 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 fair. Yeah. But like, they were there. They were there. It's just. Um, and this weekend I was calm, bro. Mm. I was calm. Not too much t- too much activity. I saw your text literally mm. like yesterday after the weekend at Gum. So I was like, eh, Bambi, sorry. This text about what? Shisha. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Man, I saw that just after the weekend. Bro. Mm. But yeah, Friday was it was good, definitely good. Um Saturday. <coughs> Wait, Friday. Which day was the Olympics uh, basketball final? Uh I think it was Friday, Sunday. Sunday. Was it Sunday last? On Sunday. The Sunday didn't home. Because I remember guys were bashing yeah. Noel nails for, for some stuff. Like yeah. for over everything after yeah. US. It must have been Saturday. So I know. Because Saturday. after the news came out that US had got gold after Steph's finish. Yeah. His last, when he scored the final points. Yeah. But hell broke loose for the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no NFL guy is so telling him that he can't do shit. <laughs> they can yeah. run faster than him, but man, guy needs a break. Yeah, yeah. but just no, somewhere during the weekend, one of those days, I watched that match with my guys. So it must have been, I think it was Friday. Mm-mm. It must have been Friday. It was Sato. It was Sato, eh? Mm. Yeah, no, it was. It was Friday. It was Friday. I don't know, bro. I, okay, I know. I, I remember watching the Sabia game mm-hmm. on what I think was Friday, bro, or Thursday. It was Sato. I remembered. It was Sato. When the Olympics ended. No, when the gold final was, the basketball oh. one. Yeah. What was the last event? Wasn't it like something like break dancing <laughs> or something? <laughs> on Sunday. The marathon? It was the marathon, yeah. yeah oh, the marathon yeah. was the last one. And then the closing ceremony. But yeah, I had oh. to collect my memories because I watched that final from Silo. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Literally went Silo just to watch that final. Okay. Uh, good times, man. That, that was basically my weekend. I didn't do much. So this weekend was calm. Like even when I was at Merrick, it was calm. Yeah. Still a good time. Yeah. But yeah. That's literally my weekend. Sunday yeah. was home the whole day. Uh, starting Friday, we didn't record. So I had like a date. Yeah, it was my first time at Silo. It 
It was a good experience. Easy. Mm-hmm. You went. Yeah. Oh, oh. Nice. And then I wanted us to continue to Miraki, but then I called this guy. And, and he had left. So I was like, ah, fuck it. What time was it? I think it was around 12 something. Uh, it time, was it 12 or 1? <laughs> Everyone from Miraki is coming yeah. down to Silo. Hey. Miraki is like a, it's a game, it's a game night, so it starts early, but it starts at like 4, 5 p.m. Mm. <coughs> then it goes till like... 11, 11 yeah. midnight. Where games. is Meroki? Is it the one uh, in Weza or there's no. another one in Bugolo? One in Bugolo. 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 Like after Silver Springs? Silver okay. Springs? Do, the, yeah. do both have a game night? No, no, no. no it's just Meroki. Yeah. Okay. And it's every other Friday. Okay. Mm. So, yeah. Also, to oh, be yeah. fair, Sounds fun. my date wasn't really boozing. Okay, like, should I in booze? Okay. So, the main thing was looking for a place with the Is this the same future. person I phoned you with at Arena? Mm-hmm. Uh, there's one she looked like she didn't booze one. Ah, no. she she one of she she a she's a one? Muslim. Yeah, she, she like a Jameson babe? No. no. Yeah, yeah, I like the Muslim babes to be like that, man. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, she really, she really fucked with the uh, shisha mob. She liked it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like you know, shisha. Standard. The silo shisha. They have some of the longest lasting shisha. The coals that they use. Don't burn out quickly. Those will break. Yeah. Square thingies. Yeah. They don't burn out quickly. They won't lie. Those things look like briquettes and not yeah. like, like actual charcoal. Yeah. Bro, there is one thing which even happened that night, man. Okay, like I moved out to Escort Hub, but then I was waiting. But then these guys took my shisha. Okay, like we were jazzing since it was like a date. And then you were over smoking the shisha. So me was planning to come, come back. back. Yeah. I came back and I taken the pot and even reserved the seat. Because it means that you've left. Yeah. Yeah. Leaving the pot is crazy, bro. Yeah. Mm. You have to leave it to the watcher, man. <laughs> you have Should to have called a random, bro. Hold my pot. Should I let that guy smoke your pot for like <laughs> at least five minutes, bro? That's yeah. where you went wrong, bro. Yeah, that was uh, the Friday. Then comes Saturday. So we went and watched... Uh, uh, you're a bit too active, active man. This, <laughs> this other movie... <laughs> There is this nice movie which is in cinema right now. Okay, it's it's a girl movie or something like that. Okay. But it, ends it ends with, with that something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A so romcom. That was Sato. The romcom or just romance movie? One of the two. How's that? For a guy, it was calm. Okay. <coughs> There's a trick. Okay. Yeah. To going for a romcom with a babe. What's the trick? Are you serious? You have to be invested, bro. <laughs> in a romcom. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I would you go. I don't think I would go for a romcom with a chick. Really. Good day. It depends on the what. Depends on what my motives. But otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> what would your motives be? <laughs> but anyway, I hear you. I think I hear you. It depends. Yeah. If, if you are like trying to get my okay, man, that's why I get banned from cinemas. But anyway, regardless. The post credit scenes, huh? No, my for me, I feel like a horror, horror thriller is like the best go to to go. Watch it. I be like, we are not getting out of here. <laughs> you have to finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Me, I'm still on some. The cinema just is not for me, bro. That's fair, man. Like, I maintain <laughs> that. Like, I go to the cinema out of obligation to my loved ones, bro, who want to go to the cinema. Mm-hmm. Like, I go for them more than I'm going for myself. Because as soon as I get in there, bro, at any given moment in that movie, I'm going to be dozing off, bro. Uh, I was, do- even in Deadpool, there was a point mm. where I was dozing off, bro. Yeah, that's my disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, but nah, that's this guy, mean? bro. That's, yeah, yeah. that's just what it is, bro. That's yeah. What it is. So I cannot imagine a rom com mm. in that scene. <laughs> but I won't lie. She would hate me. You should though. go with motive. You should go with motive. A motive to do what? Motive. It depends on what you want. Ah, to do. What you want to achieve? Then why not? Motive to do what? To achieve what you want to achieve. Ah. Now dead food. Why were you doing this, bro? <laughs> was ne- yeah, I was dismantling dead bodies. You slept through that. <laughs> I saw those parts. I saw all those parts, bro. Whenever I'd be trying to doze up, some shit would happen. I'd wake up. That that thing got me on my toes. I was falling sick in that movie because I think I got, I think I had like a mild typhoid thing. Hmm. When I was Mild watching it, then I, crazy, when I got bro. out, when I got out, that's when it like real came. It the, you, the yeah. cold was like preserving me, yeah. so I felt my life was like deteriorating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I felt that like that, that movie was good from beginning to the end. The Deadpool movie. Okay. Deadpool. It was dope from beginning to the end. Yeah. The, the patrons know. got a full review. Yeah. So mm. <coughs> subscribe. There's no Deadpool three. It's number three of the Deadpools. Mm. Depends on you're asking. Depends. But which one? Is it better than one or two? Me, it's above two. To me. Oh yeah, you said that in the comments. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. What was two? 
what is the plot of two? Isn't two the one with cable? Exactly, you don't remember two. Yeah. But yeah, with the juggernaut, the comic accurate juggernaut. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Exactly. So no, 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 no. depends who you're asking. So I like but to be I like fair, me I feel one. like it tops all. Tops all. Yeah. For you, eh? this is my Even favorite. Yeah. On records, yeah. on wow. budget, like record wise, it should Definitely be like yes. number one. I think it's like a budget a of 200 million. It has, I think it has by now made a billion so far. So well, a, they cheated because they had the Wolverine. They had everyone. Oh, they cheated. <laughs> they, had everyone yeah. they, they didn't cheat. They, they made they the didn't movie. Cheat. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't cheat. They put everyone in a flick. It had to make all that. Let money. me first see what <laughs> what its budget was. <laughs> it was 200 mil. 200 mil. Yeah. Cheaper than a lot of movies, bro. Cheaper than Endgame and Infinity War by Which far. Which had you for games. real? For real. Yeah, anyway, okay, no I had to look up those stats. But nowhere near. In terms of quality, bro. Quality. Nowhere even. This is not even sniff end game. The last Infinity time Marvel War. made a bill. Was those days like post COVID? When they were making good movies. When they were making good movies. Yeah. To be fair, yeah. man. I mean, I can't talk, man. I'm not sure if they were making much Disney, weeks. Marvel, Star Wars, all that you stuff. You watch all of it. Yeah. Fair. This thing has made a bill in two weeks. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's actually, I can believe that this thing is really expensive than, like it's more expensive than the, <coughs> the other Marvel movies. Because yeah. the special effects, the VFX in that thing. Yeah, the beginning yeah. intro looked expensive. Right? Yeah. They got my 100 million in that intro. That intro, <laughs> that intro was sick. <laughs> that intro was, that cool. was sick. super but duper sick, bro. Whenever guys say it costs 200 M to make a movie, mm. I wonder why they never say what it costs to market that movie. Marketing is always average double. Average. Because, bro, that movie has been marketed, bro. Mm. Like it's everywhere. <coughs> if everywhere. Tell you, yeah. you tell your movie is two hundred. I don't, I don't really feel 400. like they needed that much effort in marketing because one and two did their job. So Wolverine had his name from the Fox movies. It's just. I think I think they marketed it, but I also think it was heavy reliant on uh, Ryan Reynolds, mm. like the marketing because he did most of it. Yeah, but you see, when they spend more money and they usually do on Deadpool movies, right? And you mean like in terms of budget? Yeah. Yeah, t- definitely. So I imagine if you spend that much money, yeah. you have to spend money marketing <laughs> it so you can make that money. I, I, don't yeah. I don't even think it was a marketing thing. I think people were just hungry for a good movie. Marvel movie. Yeah, and true. also the last Deadpool movie was what, 2018? I mean, Six years, Deadpool, bro. Six the good thing years. they've not destroyed Deadpool, bro. Okay, okay, let me say, to give you the way in, like, in terms of Deadpool movies, in terms of Deadpool movies, the objective of this one was ju- it just thrived off nostalgia and like dope Fun action service. dope action sequences and yeah, a Honda Civic. Son, that's that's the only thing bro. that it thrived doing, but dope. I don't think you should get this thing like straight directly okay. to your mouth. Okay. The entire thing was just fan service, bro, but I, I as a fan, they serviced, bro. I won't lie. Balls, balls, but I feel like Deadpool balls, is a combination balls. of multiple things. Those who are interested in the jokes, those who are interested in the VFX. Yeah, it has Fair. multiple things put together. And that's why maybe... What's the maybe VFX crazy? Fuck with it. Fair, but with the storyline in this one, bro... No, like the story... <laughs> you're not going for a story, man. This guy is regenerating, man. The story <laughs> was... What's the uh, story? The story was mid. I will tell you that. What story are you looking for, honestly? The story was mid. Speaking... I'm so glad you guys brought Deadpool up. I was at the so this weekend I was at I was at the farm with my family, and one of my uncles. It was a full house, but like all my relatives were there because we had a function. Vid looked crazy. Yeah, yeah. So my uncle at breakfast was telling us, um, you heard about remember how we spoke about the the random Welsh kid who killed some kids at yes, a school yes, in the yes, UK. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So when they, when my uncle found out that kid was random, he said, "You see." Telling his kids, because his wife is random, telling his kids, you see, that's why I tell you guys, stop watching violent movies. He told us his kids made him take them to the cinema, mm. and they watched a movie that was violent from beginning <laughs> to end. He said it was just in, like violence like he has never seen before. Oh when they were buying man. the tickets, they oh. asked him, they warned him that mm. this movie is R-rated. And is he sure that he wants his kids to go in and watch? Does he know the meaning of R-rated on his He knows. He well, knows. He knows. He was like, <laughs> he was like, he was like, his kids wanted to watch it. So he was like, you know what? Calm. When they got in there, his kids, first of all, are so young, bro. The firstborn is, I think they're nine and eight. So they go into the cinema. And you know the opening sequence of that movie, bro. Immediate swearing, immediate <laughs> killing, immediate like, 
it's nasty from the jump till the jokes end. are not for He said that in a, like at some point he looked at his kids and he was like you guys want to finish this movie. They were like, yes. like can we leave? And the kids were like nah. 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 <laughs> 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 yeah. And they finished the movie, bro. Nah, uh, that's that's funny, bro. Uh, uh, that, that's not fair. Yeah, but uh, violence is like in bow in mind. And see the stuff that I grew up watching. Yeah. yeah. When you get up and I would be like a teenage mutant ninja turtle running through Kampala or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. But I won't lie. I was I went to watch that movie Trap. Yeah. Mm. The same day you watched yours, yeah. Mm. That movie, first of all, let me say that's like a solid three. Hey, <laughs> it's <laughs> us. <laughs> On scale of what? It's ah. nice. The trailer was out of sick. Ten. Ah, the trailer was a sick. Three. Okay. Sick. Crazy. I will say this. The premise of the movie is good. Mm. It's just when you're watching. I don't think it's a cinema movie. Because me, I was just watching it like, bruh. <sighs> well, I, I go back to Deadpool. I could have paid the ticket again from there. But I'll mm-hmm. say this. Um, I was seated next to a kid. Man. Like, you know when you've got your line, you're alone. But half of the movie, this family walks in to my very line. They're like seven. Kiddos. And like the parents at the end. How old are these kids? Bro, let me say like six, seven. Mm. Then the eldest was like 11. Watching Trap? Yeah. Ah. And then the mom keeps recording her kiddo. So there's like a flash in the corner of my eye in the movie. Mm. I'm like, ah. And you know the premise of the movie. Like it's a serial killer. So of yeah. course they're like jump scares. what? And this kiddo is just screaming in my ear. Damn. The inter- Maybe that's why it's a three in my ear. Wait. No, they were black, man. But there was a white chicken point of us who just kept turning and telling them, guys, <laughs> relax. Yeah. I was so unamused, man. Yeah. So unamused. Anyway. Yeah. Steve, how was your weekend, man? Uh, me, I don't know. My, we're not like exactly in the same friend group, so I, don't, I can't relate with the silo and <laughs> stuff yeah. like that. Oh. But, but for me, as a patron, as a patron, let me say, after the Tuesday pod, I was going home. Uh, for was a bummer. I didn't get a Friday pod, but understand you had a function. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Uh, let me see. Weekend, my weekend was super chill, both Saturday and Sunday. Um, let me see. I think I just finished a series. It was called Those About to Die. It was state. Uh, Those About to Die. Yes. What is that? What what uh, thing is it? Huh? Uh, peacock. Peacock. Yeah, Those yeah, guys cook. Yeah, Those guys can much. cook. Yeah, you have to yeah. use the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. So yeah, oh, it's good. I would recommend it. You would either love it or you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Okay. So depending on which spectrum you're on. Okay. Uh, let me see. Sunday, Sunday church. Did I have church? Yes, I had church. The church. Then prayed for Monday. It was a really end of weekend. Just two through that. Those ten episodes. In those for that in, I was good. Called it, yeah. Very chill. That sounds like a okay. decent weekend, bro. I'll hold you. Spending the whole of Sunday at home, eh? I'm starting to appreciate it, man. Yeah, mm. shit is so ideal, bro. Yeah, like, so I, I no longer just for guys who spend their Sundays at home, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, my turn. So I had a fairly long weekend, bro. My weekend started on Thursday. <coughs> I left town. Went to Hoima for my sister's Kugambo uh, Ujeni. Um, yeah, but Thursday was just to prepare. The function was on Saturday. There was so much to do, bro. Like, first of all, I'm the relative in the famo that at family functions, I don't really do much, bro. Mm. I'm not the guy who will be like going around making sure everything is in place. Or I'm like the slacker, bro. I'll be dodging. Is <laughs> it? I'll be dodging chores. That's the truth. Mm. And I'm well known. <laughs> the family, <bro. laughs> guys, just know like it's a point where guys like they just like they know that that's just how Melvin is. Mm. But this one is my sister, man, and like I, j- I had to like I had to be. You had to be there. Yeah, I had, had to, to be make present, yourself bro. useful. So I was busy, bro. The whole of whole of uh, Thursday when I go to the farm, busy. Friday, busy whole day, bro, and. Sato, the day of the function. I barely attended that function, bro. Mm. I was just moving, bro, making sure everyone had what they needed. Da 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 da. Shit would get, like, stuff would get done. I go get more. Eh, eh, eh. So, Thursday to Saturday, we're busy, bro, the whole time. 
Saturday yeah. night. I just wanted to let loose, bro. The DJ was fire. The drinks were flowing. So on Saturday night, we turned up. Bro. You guys yeah. were groovy. We turned I up, I saw this bro. snap of you, like, eh, recording eh, some eh, guys, eh. like, over oh, at the end of this year, I have to yeah, have lunch. Where yeah. the function was, mm. it's, it was on a farm. But the farm, like, the farmhouse is in the middle of the farm. It's not one of those things where our villagers can come, or blend in, what, mm. nah. The guys who are there, were there. Yeah. If you're leaving, you have to go in your car. It's a long drive. So guys, I think just decided, man, let's just blast. Mm. Bro, we blasted. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you those things on, uh, on the farm. It's a bit different. Bruh. It's a bit different. We blasted. Those guys, you think that the guys I was recording, mm. those guys are painters, what, plumbers, <laughs> guys who had come to, the guys who had come to work at the farm, man. <laughs> we were just blasting. Everyone was stunned. Everyone was happy. Um, of course, my sister was happy. My parents were happy. The function was successful. So Saturday was a good day and a good night. I think I went to bed at like 2 a.m. But like piss drunk, bro. Mm. I woke up at like 5.30. Paying, bro. Hungry. Like, bro, hungry to the point where I had to like, you know like the dangerous state of being hungover when like you're very dizzy? Yeah. You're dizzy and you know that if you stand up in a wrong way, you can't like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can fall down or like, but I struggled. I got out of bed. I went to the kitchen, sat down, opened the fridge. The fridge was filled with stuff, but I just grabbed like a yogurt, <laughs> two yogurts, like a small yogurt, a small Jessa yogurt. I grabbed a bowl. I got an apple, chop, chopped it. Put it in a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> just but when I tell you <laughs> that every action was taking at least like a few seconds, like for me to balance myself, <laughs> like grab the yogurt, put it down. My head is pounding. This was still on the farm, yeah? Yeah, on the farm. On yeah. The yeah. Grab the apple. Cutting that apple. I've never cut an apple like that, bro. I see how downtown chicks cut onions. Yeah. They slice, 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 then they turn it and slice, <laughs> slice, 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 slice. That's how I cut that apple, bro. I needed it to be cut in the fastest possible time, man. And I was like, bro, if I cut myself while I'm cutting this apple, I'm just going to sleep on this floor because I can't, <laughs> like, I don't have the energy to do anything else. Yeah. Cut the apple, put it in a bowl, chopped my, my yogurt in there. That's why I think I'm back to drinking yogurt. You don't I think mix I the yogurt with the apples? No, yeah, I mix or them. Or just me? I mix them. Yeah. 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 I like to sit all around. But the thing is, bro, yoga doesn't bother me, it seems. Mm. Yeah. It seems yoga doesn't bother me. First, tell us, guys, does yoga have lactose? Let me, <laughs> first tell us. Let me Google. Let me Google. Because yoga has not been, but I've been blasting like yoga for the past few too. days. It's a dairy product. Yeah, but. But there's that ingredient that bothers guys is lactose. Mm. And there's a chance that, like, the fermentation process, like, destroys the lactose. It moves it. A good chance. Yeah. A good chance. Yeah. You'll check. Yeah. I have a boy, have a boy who time. actually is, like, allergic to eggs. I don't know what that falls under, but. Like allergic to eggs. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I know people. Are I thought it was to like eggs. some. I don't know. I can't say like sato. Like if it's an egg, you like. I, this guy like seriously react like blacks, blacks and shit. Like even a Rolex. Can you imagine a guy not eating a Rolex and stuff? I know Bro, people like that. Crazy. But it's hmm. well, a guy is not living. Yeah, I know. I know someone who's addicted to mm. who addicted, who is <laughs> allergic. <laughs> He's allergic to. <laughs> Allergic to sawdust. Sawdust. Like, sawdust fucks him up, bro. How about like when he touches a tree? Like chairs. There's no sawdust. There's no snow. Unless you try to cut that tree, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yogurt has lactose. It has lactose. They yeah. are lactose-free yogurts. yogurts. Yeah. Mm. So apparently the lactose-free ones always, always have low fat. Like a pro, it's one called probiotic yogurt. That kind of one, is it like a like a pop? Yeah, yogurt. yeah, yeah. Uh, Actually, it's like it's heavily advertised in Kenya. I don't know why it's not like in Uganda and stuff. The lactose free shit. Hope guys yeah. take it. I think it's yeah, so I've never sweet. Seen it. The most common. Oh, no, I was talking about probiotic, like not, oh. not lactose free. Oh, what yeah, the probiotic, probiotic still. Let me first check what probiotic is. Sweeter. Yeah, I like it. It's actually it's always a mixture of two things. Can find uh, passion and peaches. That thing bangs. Mm. That one in specific that you've said. Let me tell <laughs> it you. bangs. Ah oh, yeah passion yeah yeah. Peach. That oh. Just that okay. passion and peach. Uh, that color is it's, it's as if yellow and yeah. Blue. I can't mm. try it out. 
That shit slaps, bro. That's a yogurt. Oh, ah, yeah. that shit slaps. I a specific brand or... Jessa. 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 Oh, yeah. yo, yo. It's even yo. more expensive. Yeah, bro. bro yeah. Free plug. That yogurt <laughs> day, man. That yogurt that day is, is the bro. one, man, bro. I t- I, I, if I don't find that one, I always get the blueberry one. Yeah. But that one, nah, that one specifically. That picture, nah, mm. that's a, I, don't know how, I don't know who, like, discovered that thing. I don't know who tested it and said, man... This is the one, but that's the one. It have been yeah, accidental, cooked. man. It must have been, <laughs> bro. I've not seen and that combination with anything a, else. There's a Kajasa outlet passion. close to home. Yeah. Mm. It's always in stock. Like when you, you go to the supermarket, food. it's not there. No, so I don't want it like... I've only had it in the small wool cups. Mm. So I don't think I want it in like a pint <laughs> or like in a the big cups. cups. Nah, you give it to me measure. like a small yeah. cup yeah. in the... I chape it. For me, the swimming where I buy my groceries, each time I go there, like, I only feel like I'm mm. lucky to know. Like the guy is clear that it she has everything, fast. bro. You should, on your birthday, I'll bring for you Jessa, bro. <laughs> Jessa, <laughs> the Jessa factory is just there in Bogos. Just now <laughs> the there, but the outlet there yeah. that's always stocked, bro. Yeah, they're going to everything. buy you a box of that yogurt, bro. Ah, oh. so I got you, bro. Mm. I got you, I got you, I got you. Wow. Bro, anyway, man, so I chaped my apples on my yogurt. Went straight back to sleep. I felt better after that. Went straight back to sleep. Woke up like at 11 a.m. Chala the farm for a bit. Drove back Kampala at like 3. It was a long drive. Um, just because I was still How a bit tired. Not too long. No, the drive itself isn't long. It was long because I was tired. Yeah. Is this the was the next now? day. Uh, the road is no, there's some part being repaired. Like halfway, like yeah, it's still being repaired. There's actually like part, parts that were blinding, bro. Like... There was so much dust from the gravel yeah. and the sand and the, you couldn't see what was in front of you. It will be a sick day when it's done. Oh, it's going to be so sweet, bro. Hey, so, so sweet. Anyway, man. Uh, yeah, that was my weekend. I worked yesterday. I worked today. So I haven't really gotten a break. Um, court vacation ends on Friday this week. So it will be back to like regular programming next week. Uh, yeah, man. But I'm chilling. It's good to be back. Good to be uh, posting back on YouTube. Definitely, um, definitely. So yeah, let's get to it, bro. <coughs> topics. topics, 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 topics. Let's start with that. Yeah, let's stop. Let's start with the landslides. <laughs> I feel like you're the one knows. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, I actually, just found out about this today. It came up on my my Instagram feed that there was a landslide in a rubbish like <laughs> landfill. Oh, never mind. In Chitezi. Yeah, that's the like a trash city. slide. That's Literally, bro. They said yeah. it's a rubbish landslide, bro. And apparently, there's this land landfill um, that the KCC started in, like, 1996, bro. Like, that landfill is at old, as old as me, bro. And they've just been dumping rubbish there from all of the seven hills, like, from the entire camp. Yeah. That's why they dumped the rubbish. And they've dumped so much rubbish there that it has just formed like a land mass. They said it spans 36 acres, bro. Amazing. The land mass there. And it seems like people, because that was like free land, guys built cribs there, man. Not even built cribs, to be fair. I don't think you can build an actual house. Mm. But guys put their temporary. homes there. Yeah, their mm-hmm. temporary mm-hmm. houses. Mm. And... Yeah, man, after 27 years of the thing being there, it just, like, it, there were weaknesses in the structure. That's what they said. They were, like, it developed a structural weakness, mm. and it collapsed inwards. So it created a landslide, and apparently the current death count is 25 people. Oh, that was 21. 21, 25, somewhere around there. They have taken 21 people out of the, like, out of the Kasasiro, man. Dead. Like, those are the ones they have found, or there are more people buried under? There are more people buried under. Damn. They found those 21. Their names are there. Mm. But they are still searching, bro. Like, SFC has even been called into search, bro. So, bro, it's so bad. Yeah, man. man it's, it's so bad. Eh. So, apparently, there was a call in 2016, which is what, eight years ago, mm. for them to close this thing. Mm. And mm. they jump. Okay, not that they jump, they said they didn't have funding. Yeah. This is eight years ago. They didn't have funding to do what? To decommission it and open a new dump site. It's in Mokono. Opening a new dump site is crazy. Cause why don't you like figure out um like if you have seen that place, that place way. enough is crazy. It's have you have you have you been there? Yeah. The Chitezi uh, thing. Yeah. If you go there, you wouldn't even believe that that's rubbish. It's like an ocean. 
bro. It's it looks so bad. It's crazy. Because yeah, but this is eight years ago. My, I don't know. I was having eighty, eight, 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 eight. Now you said it from the time that you were born. And my dad was telling me how like that land came up, but my it was like dad, dad talks so when I first went on aeroplane mode a bit. Mm. But it's <laughs> 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 mm. But if I'm mm. to remember, well, even the way how that land came up was like a bit tricky. It was like my but. I'll contradict those plots. Those plots are not cheap. And the reason why guys stay to stay to there is because it's a gold mine. Mm. It's a gold mine. Now imagine all the rubbish in Kampala is being flooded there. You have rubbish from Kololo, Muyenga, everywhere. So guys, they're like professional dumpster divers who go there and like look for like mm. stuff that is mm. almost, almost. Mm. Is that an actual occupation? Yeah. They're like loads, like the way you can be in your community and you see a rich guy th- with a car, kids are going to proper schools. Man, guys are making a living, we're making a living, but yeah. Crazy, bro. Crazy. I didn't even know that, man. Yeah, yeah. that's why it's an interview. As, as I said, airplane mode, man. Yeah. Talk. Yeah. yeah. But you get the fact that this came up eight years ago <coughs> and they still did nothing and people continued building and no one stopped them, yeah. is what's mad to me. Because apparently even last year, there was a whole report from KCCS Public Health something something to try and address it. And they still say they don't have funding. But you know, structural failure is a crazy way to put it. Because like, is this a building? <laughs> it's not a structure, <laughs> like, The foundation. Bro, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, what do you mean structural failure, bro? It, it doesn't make sense. sense. You know, from 1996, bro. Like, how do you know what the structure of this thing is? I don't know if, like, they and expected it to fuse and, like... Yeah, they think it has, it's like it soil, it has like become soil. As and it. apparently, every time it rains, that thing just kept getting weaker. Mm. And the residents knew it kept getting they? weaker. So you can imagine, from 1996, how many rains, bro? That's terrifying, bro. Yeah. That's terrifying, Maybe. but I don't think guys have left. Because guys have nowhere to go. Yo, guys, you said even if there was acres. a place to go, I'm telling you, guys can't go. If you see like an interview of like a guy, if they paid you, can you live here? My guys are making a living from that place. Like, nah, way. this is where I get my money. <laughs> Bruh, I won't lie. Um, Imagine rent there is like 1.6 if I remember well. Mad. 1.6. <laughs> <laughs> Where yeah. <laughs> oh, is guys living? <laughs> I, I, ah. There's probably no rent day even. You just set up what? your thing. Yeah, structure is like a house with like it's it's not what you'd expect. It's like an estate mm. of like professional dumpster divers like selling stuff because yeah. I think the the most triggering fact that if I remember no I remember this one was because of my like chicken like chicken in supermarkets when it's like not like when it's almost bad they throw it that side and those guys like sell it to the guys oh. on the road and stuff. Yeah, I know that's a turn off. So there's a guy who is roasting chicken that somehow. From the uh, guy may not even be no- oh. guy may not be knowing even. Oh, so it's like similar to this thing whereby you're living close to a bakery and it's if more the bread gets burnt, or you just throw it away. Yeah, yeah. It's more believable oh. than killing marabou stocks and stuff. Oh, food, it is, man. Yeah. man. But I've never roadside chicken. Man, of course. Several times. It's a way, man. I may even do it when I go back. That shit slaps. <laughs> yeah, this it. guy. <laughs> you wait, right? I may do it when I'm going back home. Literally, you may do it on your way home. It's a tough Tuesday. All of us have. My question is like, where now? Because that place is in Shitezi, which is what? Is that like Kasangati or something? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, but man, I don't know. chicken from that side. Like have you guys seen the one at Nambole? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. one isn't bad. It's not as big. But it's also but it's a literal that like that is nothing. It's a is wall it, of is it close to the road? railway. Yeah, it, hmm. it's a wall of because it's big. Relax. Compared it's to big. that flood thing, I mean the pictures alone, the pictures alone. For, I think just like context wise, a guy stands here upwards. Mm. Yeah, seeing a camera just dancing on top of you, mm. bro. That's a, that's mad that you have one landfill for twenty two years. Hmm? Where everyone's even over. And you see, Kam- what, Kampala years? is growing outward. So I think they never thought that Kampala would grow this big that this side, fast. Yeah. So they are now plow. So they're like, so what do we do with this? With How many trash? of those do we have in Uganda? Well, I, I mean, don't, at least don't, in don't see much around Greater Kampala. Because all well, I know, like in Western countries, I know junk, like those rubbish fields are for like metallic scraps. 
Yeah. But even those ones are crushed and like compressed and mm. they do something with them. And no one leaves day. Ah, okay. Have you seen like this LDR episode of the rubbish thing where the guy had like a pet dog? Okay, yeah. <laughs> they will live around it, but not <laughs> <laughs> own the guy, rubbish. That guy has like <laughs> some mutant thing in the man, rubbish. Man. By the way. I've seen those dump sites, but like guys don't build on the rubbish. That's what's mad to me. Like, where the what's if mm. I would assume if you have a dump site, Actually, you like keep monitoring sense. it. So when a structure comes on top of it, you're like, boss. So guys, we are building on top no, of the rubbish. Yes. Yeah, no, I told you, it. it's like a, oh. sorry, I, as I addressed, it's like and it's like how would I say? You saying guys build around it. Around it, exactly, because it was it's re, it's like prime land. Like back then, it was prime land. It was just sold off in a bad deal to KCCA. Mm. So that's why it ended up being a dumping site. So the Kasasiro fell on guys. That thing was a physical future. It was a hill. <laughs> For co- yeah, if you had to put it like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a physical feature, but <laughs> yeah. that might be the name of this episode. Yeah. I don't know what you Physical <laughs> feature. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, you had a steep valley there. Yeah, Rift Valley. Uh, that's the, that's the. Bro, uh, I can't even. But I, I agree. Thing. I, I can, I can see, I can see that. I can see that. So, and the man. But that, there's, there's still an issue to be addressed somewhere there. Mm. Like, okay, fine. Guys are building close to it. If the thing is not stable, still, why? Why, bro? Because you see, if something has been there for twenty years, plus, you don't think that like. It's going to fall on you, bro. Yeah. You, you were born when it was day. Yeah. You. It's kawa. And it's like the first the case. The authorities like that monitor like it. That's yeah. my question. Yeah. Like, for them, because ideally, even if you're going to build your house, mm. they will tell you, man, this land. Yeah. When they call a structural engineer, mm. he will still have to get authorization from an actual board. What is it? The Uganda Land Board, whatever it's called. So they will still know that this land, this is a swamp. Or this is like, this soil is not kawa. <laughs> Yeah, which <laughs> it's like you said, bro. The guys just say they have no cash. Systems. Mm. I have it no cash. I want yeah. to do this thing. You yeah. know much? I have no cash. You know how much you say they need to to decommission it and relocate? How much? Six billion. That's not much in comparison to what guys spend on things. That's Six not billion much. is not yeah. much, bro. That's not much. But you see, uh, we live in a country where like guys know where the potholes are, bro. Okay, fair. Because that pothole has always been there. Like it, we fill it with soil and stones. It comes back. It rains. It comes. We know where that thing is. So now imagine if you can ignore a portal. What about this giant mound of trash, bro? That's growing that every has day. Never killed Man, now mm. it has killed. That's even, now even, even his attention there. Honestly, they be killing guys from time immemorial, but guys still go. There. Yeah, guys still go and live there. The government tells them don't go there. Go guys there. go back. Cause where do you want me to go? But now, now that like, to me, guys man. have died, they are going to do something about it. They are going to do something. Hopefully, I just don't know what they do. So even all these companies that come and collect rubbish from homes, they, they, take, it, they, they take it. Now they want to have put have like a piece of you there. I just know it's a guy. Is, that means KCCA probably owns that landfill and charges guys to dump there. Yeah. That's also money. Probably. Which they could have used to decommission the thing. Now the question is, where does that rubbish go? The one that has fallen, bro. Because they're saying that the, the, the new one is supposed to go to Mukono. The new <laughs> landfill. <laughs> I don't know why we need a landfill. Okay, well, Can we just find out how to destroy this shit? Is, is the only way to destroy it by burning it? Because it's rubbish, man. It you only burn hazard, that hazard waste. Uh, they rarely burn but it. But you have to recycle plastic and stuff. I don't know. Uh. Because now you have to burn all the plastic there. Mm. My the ozone footprint. layer above yeah, Uganda yeah, was a hole in the ozone. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> From Uganda alone. 36 <laughs> acres of plastic. <laughs> like, bro. The rest of Africa <laughs> yeah, yeah, is Kawa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is the sun in Uganda <laughs> different? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, it's. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, bro. Anyway, Ooh. anyway, anyway. anyway. Um, yeah, man. So, RIP to everyone who lost their life in that thing. And uh, wow. to all the families that are mourning. Yeah, our thoughts are with you. And we hope the government does something. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of campaigns on the internet on how you can support, so go check those out and support. Uh, yeah. Anything else? Olympics. Anything to discuss? Did you guys watch that really? 100 by... 100 oh, by I did, when I missed it. Yeah, I also didn't watch it. I, I didn't it. see the, the replays. Uh, I haven't watched the Olympics, but all I know, 
one that has been making news is the did you know break dancing is in the Olympics? Yeah. For real? It, it's a new thing. It yeah. came it's at new. in Tokyo. Yeah. I think it came in the Tokyo like Olympics. The last break Olympics. dancing. A bunch of events came in those Tokyo Olympics, bro. But the ge- the genesis of Olympics and the fact that break dancing is in the Olympics is crazy. It's mad, man. And let me tell you, each Shout year they add a new sport. Yeah. Each year. So just know next year you'll probably find like eating. Eating. It has to be there. like. It has to be like. Oh, eating no. was there before, and then they scrapped. It has to be like a French, a French theme, like designer <laughs> sewing. Sewing, <laughs> sewing is great. <laughs> or pastry, <laughs> or pastries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. But Team Uganda came back with. Actually, in the break dancing thing, do you see that Chico got zero? Zero. In Australia. <laughs> I was a champion. She got That's zero. Mm. She had a PhD in break dancing. Oh, the Australian chick. Mm. That chick got zero. I've been seeing zero. guys clowning. I didn't know that. That's Wait. why they were clowning. No, for me, I thought guys were clowning. For me, I even didn't know they were clowning PhD because she's the only dance. one who made news. People actually go to university for that. Okay, she had a PhD in breaking, not break dance. Let me not cap. But it sounds similar. Breaking what? Your body. Well, break dancing because I saw that because I saw that she was an Australian chick. Mm. She was an Australian chick and she danced. So she's the only that's how I knew about the break, break dancing, dancing thing. thing. So I thought she won and stuff. Well, let me first fact check my jazz because yeah, I remember seeing zero. It's still funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's still whether you fact check or not. Bro. <laughs> Having a PhD and then getting a zero at the Olympics is like, even how winning, did you get even to, winning you get after to getting a PhD, meaning it paid off. Yeah, <laughs> guys, like, you'd rather win. Pursuing breakdancing. It's literally that, like, as soon as you type Australia, breakdancer is the first search, bro. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Um, yeah. Debra. Losing no. her three round. By a score of 54-0. Ah, so she actually got zero. Bro. She lost to the other person 54-0. Mm. Heartbreaking. Very so heartbreaking. Who was the other person? Who was the other person for? It's been like Japan, bro. <laughs> Those guys can <laughs> break dance, bro. <laughs> Japan, Korea. I thought, I thought Those guys are too like, fit. I, feel like, I thought it would be like Americans with the whole step up. Mm. Because I, do, I wouldn't imagine talking to break dancing. Yeah, because you see the Americans, and the Americans' culture has been exported, and then guys just do it better than them, bro. Guys, mm. like, especially those guys. Those yeah. young guys. I ah. can't see who her thingy, who her opponent is. But it's apparently like for them, it's like a combination of two, like so dancing, dancing, and dancing. then acrobatics yeah. and all that. I mean, it comes to things like, uh, let's say, these guys who do flair, windmill, you know, like, these guys who are doing yeah. B-boy. Oh yeah, yeah, did you see that video that kiddo, that kind of Japanese kiddo got pissed at their parent? For? Well, they like their parent had, like, you know, since when I tell you, go to your room, kiddo bang, the other side doing flares in the bedroom. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I've seen that thing. Yeah, so, ah, man, ah. anyway, just know 54-0 is crazy. But yeah. Team Uganda came back with only two medals. Gold and silver. That's kawa. Some guys didn't get anything. <laughs> Mob <laughs> guys didn't get anything, bro. Was yeah. it gold and silver or gold and bronze? I think it was, it was silver, gold and silver. silver, silver gold and silver. silver. Yeah. yeah, but for me, still, man. Okay, fine, we did. Well. How many people did we send? Hey. Okay, yeah, fine. If you look at our two out of like 15 athletes that we sent, that's fair. a crazy percentage. Wait, we sent 15 athletes, huh? Some shit like that, bro. But there's a country. Wait, where's where's Zambia? Zambia, sent? Zambia sent like four athletes. And like fifty commissioners from the Olympics, <laughs> <laughs> from the Olympics committee. It's not fair, man. It's not, bro. In like terms of Olympics, I feel like this Olympics has made like the most news. In our the Olympics were too late, bro. Do you think it's because the from Olympics were lit, or it's because people were just jazzy? It's because of TikTok. Because yeah, of TikTok, I think that's true. Yeah. Force, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is like we've never seen any shit like this, bro. TikTok like, is something else. In comparison man. to 2020. I swear. TikTok now, mm. like yeah. people, at least at the Olympics, were doing TikTok challenges as they walked in, bro. Like as they are getting in, like the Canadian guy could did that. What the what? Mm. The what? The mm. what? Okay. guys, nah, I want like, TikTok is something. The one thing bro. I appreciate is I saw some Scandinavian queens, bro. Yeah, and even that, like mm. the sensationalization of the athletes. Yeah. Guys, I've never like looked at them like this and posted about them and said or ranked them. This is that. What about, what about what like about the most Team attractive USA, what? Team, Team USA appearing in the Olympics. Which Team USA? Like that? the all-star team of America. Basketball. Yeah, basketball. And this was their last dance as if, because they're now old. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah that yeah. was yeah. Like LeBron, back. probably. Mm. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, saw meme, I saw a meme saying the future of basketball <laughs> is bright. <laughs> 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 like four young guys and LeBron. <laughs> 
<laughs> guys are dumb, bro. Guys no. are dumb. Guys are just 13 and I'm sure you can push. Yeah, but I think, bro, this Olympics showed me, I don't know how I, it had never occurred to me, that the Olympics might actually be like the best sporting event in general, bro. Oh, I agree, man. Like, I, had, I agree. it had never, like, and I've watched plenty of Olympics. Really? But the way that this one was televised, the way it was advertised, this shit was just too entertaining. Bro. Yeah. And yet, before it started, <laughs> A lot of it was controversy. chaos, bro. Mm. Guys were saying they were going to shit in the sand. <laughs> guys were saying, you, like... Did you say this thing? Yeah. Did you say this thing where, like, on a sprinting relay, you know how, like, on TV, it shows, like, the countries in systematic order, then they put... Nigeria. Nigeria and Germany. I saw it. 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 I refuse to believe that. <laughs> was right. bro, I'm sure there was a joke that we put them next to each other. They were like, no, I think it was legit. I, I think it was so legit. Crazy, crazy. crazy. Oh, that thing man. that me up to watch, that watch those 24 yeah. laps just mm. to catch. Bro, but, but Olympics and uh, World Cup, what, uh, which one do you think is bigger? World Cup. Um, I think culturally, World Cup. Yeah, but I think the Olympics ate up the World Cup. Yeah, like, bro. Like these Olympics you know, this viewership beat ate the World, up Cup, that World final, Cup, if I'm not mistaken. The but final. to be fair, the Olympics is 30 days. The final is two hours, man. Yeah, but guys were in the... The Olympics that guys in the bar watching were the 3,000 meter steeple chase. <laughs> the gun, the gun, yeah, yeah, the guys gun guy. Archery. <laughs> guys, <were, laughs> mm. okay, guys were killing me. They were like, man, when you're rowing, it's up. It's all in the back, bro. The yeah. back and the legs. Guys were like, what do you know bro. about rowing? <laughs> but yeah, those Olympics are too. Good. Honestly, I feel like it's over. It was well televised because you'd go to a printer. You see guys watching diving. Mm-hmm. Okay, but diving was cold. I won't lie. Okay, diving. diving no, was too cold, you, man. I even a commentator, as you said, my yeah. commentary. Guys <laughs> was cooking, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. I watched a guy shoot like you know those. Um, well, what's the sport where they have the shotguns? And uh, then they throw a target in the air. Uh, I've known whatever it, I've it is. Talking about, yeah. Yeah. The USA guys, man. They were cooking. Guys, yeah. guys have guns. <laughs> One thing about those guys, they can shoot a gun. They were the cooking. <laughs> those guys. I, get, oh, oh, like wait, I was seeing it on TV, but like yeah. I went on Twitter, checked the Olympics hashtag. Guys are like, man, USA. Mm. They, w- they failed only one shot. Mm. But there was a guy in the comments who was like, man, but if this was a school. <laughs> All of this. <laughs> but do they shoot actual rounds, like actual bullets? Yeah. No. Do, like they, do they not? I, I feel like know. they are, bro. I don't know. I think the, the particular bullets that are used for that yeah. event, that mm. sport, yeah. Fair. Yeah. I, think I, I know the particular but bullets. The only uh, bullets that I know is for that category where that turkey guy mm-hmm. participated in the bullseye. Are they real bullets or is it like a cabal? Those are real bullets. Yeah, those ones oh. are real bullets. That's. That's the one I know that has real bullets. So it me, I think it's like a regular gun. It's it nuffed, but they are yeah. actual mm. bullets. Mm. I like nuffed. But apparently, that guy was supposed to win, bro. He had win. the best average, but because they were doubles, so his teammate is one that oh. made him get a silver. Mm. Yeah, I saw that cool. thing, I was like, we're crazy. Crazy. Related, but unrelated. Mm. Did you guys see the, the thing about the CrossFit athlete that drowned? Yeah, in the Ironman. Mm, the yeah. Ironman competition. A CrossFit yeah. athlete drowned, bro. And like, they drowned, but the life life lifeboat was like right there. So there's a video of them literally struggling, bro. For like a solid 30 seconds to a minute, bro. Struggling. During the Ironman? Yeah. It was televised. You, see like life, you can see him there struggling, phase, bro. Phase as his life. Yeah. Was, it, what, was the current crazy? No. no. It was, it was just a swimming portion. Damn. He struggles. On camera, bro, he struggles for his life and dies. The life And other people were passing. The life guy was passing, bro. Yeah, other guys were swimming, bro. Yeah. Other guys were swimming. Damn. That's sad. I'm not even sure what happened to him. And I don't know. Maybe but like it can a be hamstring like a or something. Sh- if that thing grabs you in the water, mm. you can't go. Let me tell you. You can't know I just move. learned how to swim. There's a thing... I g- there's a like time muscle pull. grabbed my toe, man. A muscle pull, you can, you can, a hamstring, a hamstring, is a hamstring? No, hamstring. it's like a muscle pull here. Mm. Yeah, a, a muscle pull, you can survive. A hamstring ah. is excruciating. Oh, That's the muscle pull. You mean like a hamstring tear? Hamstring. Do you mean like I, a tear? I'm different. No, no. Uh, because yeah, I was, I used to be in, I used to be in a swimming club. And then the only time that I've ever felt to like perform was when I got a hamstring, a hamstring. It, I sank to the bottom. 
unwilling. They just survived like the like jerry cans and stuff that you, they threw. You healed them. Yeah. Bro, I won't lie. That's so scary, bro. There's a time, you know, I think when your toes as if, I don't know what to call it, but like the kind of misaligned. <laughs> that thing grabbed me in the pool. <laughs> Your toes, Mr. Light. <laughs> Hold on. I can't How explain it. I was nodding, it's, but it's like... It's not a muscle. It's not a muscle yeah, pull. Yeah. But like, the toes, as if, like, now these three kind of like, do this. Mm. Uh-huh. But I was in the shallow Shall end. So yeah, I just stood there. You got stood because up. you are walking, bro. <laughs> uh, bro. Nah, it's a yeah. bit mad. Anyway, I just wanted to say RIP to that athlete as yeah. well, man. It was... It was so sad, bro. And I, I think it's sad for all parties. Because I'm sure even the lifeguard is embarrassed and devastated because, like, that's your yeah. job. You're supposed to help these people. But the guy just, as if for him, he didn't see, man. Mm. You know what I mean? But, but, but they're also mob guys. Yeah, they're mob guys. They're mob guys, but... Eh. Man, it anyway, was sad, That's bro. sad, that's, that's sad, sad. That's sad. Anyway, man, I don't think we, are, we have any other topics. Can we do questions? Oh, one more. I know we're not discussing football. Mm. Predictions for the new season. Uh, you don't want to go there. Our predictions last time were so so terrible. Bro. <laughs> relax, relax. Last time we were biased. <laughs> I'm embarrassed by those predictions. Yeah, same, same, same. Uh, but I'll okay. say my I'll say what I'm skeptical about as a United fan. And I was just talking about this with my brother-in-law. I think that like I'm happy with the signings we've made, but I think that the Scouting hasn't been creative, bro. Like, we're just buying this guy's old players. Mm, again. And it seems yeah. like we're buying players from a f- like an era of Ajax players that whenever they go to new clubs, they're finished. Like, we're lucky that we're buying them at affordable prices now. But none of them are starting in the teams that we're buying them from. Those teams have been too willing to sell them to us. Like, it's just suspicious, bro. Like... They leaked was like a car, like a teenage like guys thought he was going to be like the next big central mid central defender, and then that guy wasn't starting for Bayern, bro. Like I saw Paul school saying Eric Dyer was starting ahead of him, bro. Like that's a red flag for he was you know I mean? he was he was. So it's I don't know. I'm just skeptical about United's like yeah. signing, but I want to stay positive. Mm. We performed well against City, even though we lost. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's those, that's all I'll say about the new season, bro. Mm. Yeah, me, my team. I won't lie. I am fifty-fifty about it. I am very hopeful from what I've seen. Like, fine, we lost literally like sixty percent of our matches, but the performances, epic. My only issue is, bro, the squad is forty-four players, bro. Is that mob of you? That's mob. Maybe that's that team has like 33, 30. That's not a bad problem to have. No, it kind of is, man. Well, Th- that was a problem we had in the first bad season we had. Mm. Kind of rectified it last season, now we've just gone back. Why? Because you have too many options? Or? Too many players. So it's hard to find like, your best yeah. squad. Yeah. But anyway, we'll see how the season goes. Um, Let's see. Let's you guys lost the community shield. Sad, but... <laughs> that's what they're saying. No, I'm saying oh, I thought that was the first question. Relax. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, yeah. Um, yeah, we lost, but uh, we could have won. That's what matters. I'm sure you guys going to talk about this Zari thing. I, wa- I wanted to avoid it. The what? <laughs> talk about <laughs> what? <laughs> the Zari jazz, bro. Zari has, uh, been, uh, Zari has been crashing out, bro. I don't know what's happening. Internet, man. So you guys have to tell me, man. Uh, okay. Yeah. I feel like you I You haven't seen this now. shit, or what do you bring to the table moving yeah, around? Yeah. I have no idea. So the Zari <laughs> situation is, you know Zari, she's married mm-hmm. to a younger man. Uh, what's his name? Shakib. 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 She's married to a younger man called Shakib. Apparently, um, she threw a birthday party for her daughter and had baby daddy, Diamond, mm. showed up at the birthday party by surprise. And he didn't just show up, bro. He entered he the crib like up. he had the keys, bro. Type, type thing. <laughs> like the, key, the crib has security like codes and shit. And someone gave him all the security code, so he just pulled up like it was his crib, bro. So Zari's BD Crazy. was mad because he was like, bro, like, why is this nigga here? And who let him in? Where does he have the codes? Like, he was mad. 
So Zari was also mad because she was like, bro, I didn't invite this guy. He mm. came. It's his daughter's birthday. So I guess it's a good thing that he came. Like, what for you, what are you tripping about? But Shakib got really, really mad. And I guess Zari also now started crashing out. But I don't know if this nigga, did he leave the house? Did he, like, I don't even know what it is, bro. But just know. Was Zari he there for the birthday? I don't know, was he there? I've, uh, I've watched oh. some TikToks and they were saying that when the... When Diamond pulled up, she called her husband and then she was like, Diamond has pulled up. So maybe like letting him know that maybe mm. I didn't know about this. You mm. get? Because I mean, what I've seen is she was in South Africa and Shakib was here. Mm. So that makes that's what triggered. Because I think if he was there, it would have been yeah. more physical. Yeah. I would assume. No, he probably wouldn't fight, but he's dead. Yeah, but there would be like he's something dead. of them, him, them confronting each other probably. Yeah. Oh. So it was at her South African residence. I guess. But then it has ended up being a thing of like people on the internet trolling Shakib because the perspective is that Zari has all the money and he should just like sit back and deal with whatever comes with that. And yeah, Zari also in her rants has been on some like who are you to tell me what to do type jazz? Like mm. What are you bring to This is online. She's ranting online. She's ranting online. But yeah. She, she on, a, on the birthday, she got wasted, then yeah, went on her Facebook. Live. Wasted. And you're like, PR is when you're drunk, honestly. So oh my God. She asked she, the guy, what do you bring to that table? And when you keep quiet, crazy. salami. So she went crazy. So the guy only had... But also there was a phone call so interview much. between some blog, some vlog of blog or whatever. Yeah. And Shakib, where they were saying that I take care of myself. You guys made me thinking that she takes care of me, but Is the that chick didn't give me shit. Everything I do for myself. Maybe the only thing uh, the chick gave to that guy is maybe it's like social capital. But the rest, the guy is like looking out for himself. He's and the guy, okay, okay, talked about this other stuff of her being older than him. Uh, her so being what? Older, older than, than him. him. And many people are coming out saying that, wow, this guy is, this may be the end. Because, you know, coming at a chick like that, telling her how old she is, no, that jazz. <sighs> Bruh. But I don't to know. me, I feel like, man, sorry, my, I'm not being an advocate, but, man, I just feel like she over tried to prove herself to the homeboy. And, man, you know, insecurity just dwells, lingers mm-hmm. in your mind, even however much you suppress. I'm not, I think like mm-hmm. a guy is like, he's fighting in the position that he is. You have to be extremely secure, bro. He is. Exactly. Or like you have to be able to like regulate those feelings of insecurity and don't let them like overpower you, man. Because you're dealing with a woman who is well off mm. and her baby daddy is also extremely well off. And they truly only broke up, I think, because the baby daddy is like a is like an ancient dude. Maybe it's just yeah, wild. Yeah. But like you're entering that situation feeling like, bruh, if this guy had stayed loyal to this chick, she'd probably still be with him. So like you have to be so, so sure of yourself, man, and of your value. So if you waver and think otherwise, man, uh, that's when you end up like him getting more pissed, mm. blowing up, thinking that some shit is going on between the two of them, what, what, what. Yeah, but I don't blame him. Mm. He's human, and it's human to like... It's completely normal. Things, Just because... It just goes back to this thing of dating chicks who are well, like, who are more money I feel like if a chick dates <laughs> when she's well yeah, loved, that's like love at its purest form. It may sound weak, but bruh. I don't know, bro. No it way. Always a chick will show her true colors yeah. in a setup of that kind. Yeah, yeah man. I don't, know, I don't know much about this even comment, so. I don't know, bro. Me, I just feel like Zari is just she's very dramatic, bro. To be fair, she's also drunk, so maybe you should also give her grace. Yeah. But like, bro, she eh, she blew this shit out of proportion. Like, I feel like it's okay to have fights in private, bro. Mm. Like, you guys can just be pissed at each other at home, bro. But no they're, one so would have they're known. both socialites, is in Shakiba, like popular boxer or something. Yeah, yeah but also, why are you bringing your family matters in a the popular in boxer? The clique? <laughs> but I don't know. Is <laughs> How is the boxing without the boxing? bands? That nigga is popular for being that nigga. That chick's work. That's true. <laughs> I want guys like Dino is cooking him in the comments, bro. Mm. Saying, be strong, sister Shakib. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
they were cooking you. <laughs> I didn't know his name till five minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, guy, that guy is just Zari's husband, and that's okay. Like sometimes your chick is just so famous mm. that that's what you are to most of the public. Mm. And people who really know you know your worth. The internet is not a real place. Exactly. Oprah's man. I mean. yeah. What's his name? Oh. Oprah's man. I have no clue, bro. That guy is Oprah's husband, bro. Is he been? Yeah, popular. Is she married? <laughs> yeah, she's I married. I guess. Really? Even they yeah. like refer. It's like a popular term. His name became like a popular term to marrying upwards. Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it's just, that's just what it is, man. Yeah, Steadman. That's a crazy name also. No, it's a legit term. Like when you're like a Steadman, <laughs> just like the... Like, no. Means you're like, uh, your chick exactly is too popping that's and you're... Yeah. You're just... Yeah. Bro, that guy is why... Uh, Steadman. Zari has what? Is she like the, chick, the African with the most followers on IG or some shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And over so TikTok. What, how do you expect us to like identify you as a popular Ugandan oh. boxer, bro? I don't know. Really watch Ugandan <laughs> boxing, man. <laughs> Have you ever seen a match he's in? <laughs> in Uji. Have you ever watched a match where he is? Me neither. I didn't even know that guy. I, won't lie. Like, I don't know. If we could be even doing this shit as a hobby. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because not just be on that yeah, professional yeah, level. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thoughts and prayers, Zari and Shakib. Let's do some questions. <coughs> All right. Question number one. Who are you most scared of meeting? Your girl's dad or your girl's mom? Dad always. Always dad, bro. <sighs> it's a tricky one, yeah? Both. I won't lie. Because mm-hmm. dad is, is, is like a, how will you take care of my girl thing? Mm. Yeah? Like, who are you taking her? What are you going to do? Blah, 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 blah. And he's like a, he's like a rich dude, bro. And like, you're bringing her from her crib where she's comfortable. Now we'll start paying rent, relax. That's a tough one. <laughs> Why does the dad have to be rich? What if the mom is Zari? Yeah, <laughs> fair. Call cool back. Cool back. <laughs> Good call back. Fair. Um, but still, same thing. Regardless. Yeah. Now, girl's mom. That one is like a character thing. Yeah. yeah. Girl's moms be jazzing them. They're like, man, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Why? Yeah. Why him? And I'm just like, man, why don't you rate me? Yeah. So mm. for me, it's, it's a thing of both, man. Not that I'm scared. I don't think the word is scared. It's just, I don't think I'm there yet, man. Like meeting people's parents, tough. tough yeah, for me, actually, the only reason is like meeting the dad is the only time where I'd feel like I'm in actual like danger. Because <laughs> this guy, guy can beat guy you. can overreact, bro, <laughs> about the fact that his, his daughter is seeing someone. Like guys immediately go to, this guy here is fucking my daughter, bro. Or try and fuck my daughter. And that thing just doesn't sit right in guys' heads, bro. Like, I expect more hostility from the dad than the mom. The mom may think, oh, she has brought him a nice boy. Oh, she's finally finding a partner. She might also, like, the character thing you said, she's trying to gauge the type of person you are. That's a battle you can win. But when the guy's first reaction is, this guy here is trying to fuck my daughter. Uh, Can jab you from there. I'll tell you guys the story of how... um, when we were, this is like early high school, holidays, went to see a friend and uh, her dad found us there. Mm. Oh, you told me something. Yeah, and this guy sat us down. <laughs> Pulled out a, a gun, bro. Put it on the table. And said, do you see that bullet? It's for whichever of you messes with my daughter. And the guy went to his room. It was that calm, bro. But isn't that so weird? We went home. That's such weird dojas to me, bro. Because <laughs> as it, what have you sexualized the whole situation? It's not weird when you're informed too, man. Ah, that's ah, scary. Ah, that's yeah. just yeah. scary. Yeah. Unless you found me with your daughter. Like in that's no, 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 no. Weak. Don't what? find me in a, in a compound with your daughter and three of our other friends and then pull out a gun on some... Who's what I'm saying man. is, it's definitely weird, but in, in form three, form two, in your head it's not weird. It's just like we want to leave, bro. You mm. need to boom. If you've come we in left. there, you found me there in your daughter's room, or you found your daughter giving me rubs in the sitting room while playing over conscience, uh, maybe then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure I could talk myself. Out. I could talk him out of it. It's not that <laughs> it looks like type shit. <laughs> like you have to start cool. <laughs> like, all this guy is uh, showering, bro. <laughs> she needed help. Help with what? 
and dance routine. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> right now, you'll be a statistic, bro. No, no, you can't you can talk your way out of here. I'll kill you and take you to the stage. Right now, you just can't be in the rubbish land. The way we are built right now, you can look. Just keep quiet and bear the consequences. Eye to eye with someone's dad, like physically. Like, I can look at you and, like, still respectful, but, like, I can... Back in the day, bro, I'm looking at the guy like so. Yeah, it's a grown <laughs> man. That's why it's weird, bro. Why are you scaring kids like that? With a gun. A gun? And the guy left. Meanwhile, he left it today. Uh, <laughs> you can just pull it on you. Guys are doing the most. This one, this guy said, this is for the boys. I don't want a woman's opinion. Damn. <laughs> 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 met this girl a few weeks ago and being uh, around her yeah. felt wonderful like an escape from my nightmarishly monotonous life sadly she doesn't like me back I've stepped back from trying to get her and I guess I'll go back to being depressed and focusing on work yeah that's basically it damn bro I was doing a question just like that <laughs> yeah. so it I guess I like, don't want a woman's opinion yeah and just told us ma bro you did the right thing Stepping back, um, I wouldn't encourage you to go back like into your shell. I think sometimes when you step out, you have to get ready. Like you have to be ready for some rejection. If they reject you, you have to be ready to bounce back, man. You first go, okay. I'll give you like a week. Go and be sad for a week. Stay in your room, beat off what? Come back, come back better. Come back newer, man. Come back fresh. You know what I mean? yeah, and go again. That's my advice. Uh, man. Yeah. But but I can relate to the feeling, bro. Yeah, I but just know you've you. proven like your, you've proven yourself like self love mm. by stepping away from that situation because you noticed that she wasn't that feeling you. Depend. But also yes. depends on like what context context is like stepping away from. You know some guys, what would I call it? You no, know, you could pursue a chick, and just be like, man, I can't pull it off, and then you start beating yourself. You could be self sabotaging yourself by letting. Mm. By letting go. Mm. Yet, if you like persisted, you could find yourself like on a more steady grind. Yeah. Yeah, but she needs to give you some signs that she's interested, also, man. You can't be pursuing, 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 pursuing. She's never giving you signs that she's interested. In fact, she's acting like she's not interested, and you keep going, bro. Yeah, you give know what? Also, how long has it like been going on? We played to Sato. Didn't tell us. How what? long? How long? I feel even like? time matters there. Uh huh. Why? Yes, you can't just have met someone and then you expect them to completely be, you know, true. do everything in your favor. True. That's true. But for me, it's just, man, my thing is, this is my beef. Um, this thing happens a lot. But you, when you step back, in some cases, man, the people follow us. Mm. And for me, that's just my beef. Like, I've stepped back. Like judo. Yeah. <laughs> like judo. Like judo, bro. <laughs> I've stepped back to like compose myself. Now you are telling me, man, let's hang out. What? Not that. Please, leave me. Let me go to gym, focus on myself, and come back. Mm. But honest, I feel like that would be a good approach to that, man. Okay, yeah. like when you're just starting up with a chick, you can put a lot of effort, and then step back and see whether she will also bring some yeah. some cas- easy easy effort. If she see, doesn't, yeah, I wish that you like release. If she does, then I wish that. Yours. I wish that this shit was like I wish communication was involved in this shit, bro. Mm. Like I wish that when you started to feel a chick, you could tell her, "Man, I'm feeling you, Loki. I want to get to know you." And then when she starts, when she's not reciprocating, you're like, "Yo, you're not reciprocating." Like, like what up? Like, are you not feeling me? Should I step back? Mm. Like, I wish guys didn't make that just so awkward. Guys feel like, man, I can't even ask her, man. I would, have, <laughs> I would know if she, if she did, if she didn't, I would. You know what I mean? Because so a lot of stuff gets lost in transition. Yeah, bro. But also she can't say yes or no. Like when you ask her whether, like, can I step back on that? Because I when she says yes, that is like an indirect way of saying that she's into you. Of which maybe at one point she may want you to keep on pursuing her for a while. She's interested, but then she doesn't want to make you know it that she's actually interested. She wants you to actually earn her. You feel me? I'll give you, a, I'll give you an example of one of my homies. I have a guy who... He's a very like he's very like loving is not the word. Like he's he's very like as if compassionate, bro. So when he's feeling a chick, he likes to show it and he likes for it to be shown back to him. So he dealt with a chick who wasn't on that jazz, bro. Like she was 
she was only like on some chase me I'm the prize shit mm. and he communicated to her like yo um I'm feeling you but the way that you act it seems to me like that like you're not feeling me man and she said no 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 I'm feeling you what 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 and she would be cow for like a day or two then she would go back to like the same shit mm. at some point the girl was like bro you know what like I'm just breaking my back with this shake man mm. like she says she's feeling me but for me the way she treats me it don't feel like don't feel like love to me bro so if i'm not getting that from her let me release her man she's going to have to not, make that that just maybe what the guy wants to the girl it's not her normal uh-huh and you that understand? means we're not compatible bro no, i don't cover. think it's about you know, being compatible just be friends with no. after rejection <laughs> be friends <And> then, <laughs> okay, let me a tactic if if the rejection then you just be, uh, my, you want be my boo let's be tight then like when you just you just sneak in something like you be like good night boo then my Probably, probably uh, she's like a sneaky attacker, bro. <laughs> probably you just nah, man. Nah, if she nah, reacts nah. with a heart, man, you get in, nah, like motivated. Nah, 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 let me let me not lie to you. You're going to be a, you'll be at the Olympics in the marathon. <laughs> you'll be the last bro, event. Let me tell you. First of all, not uh, everyone is meant for you. If things have jumped, things have jumped. Yeah. It's that simple. Secondly, we are too old for us to be playing games, man too old like these things of who is like, like uh, let me step maybe back you guys <laughs> there's one thing you guys don't you understand me. yeah uh-huh here is one thing okay you can get a chick mm. when for her she wants late night texts yeah when for you not on that jazz yeah you understand yeah. can you also say that we are not compatible because me i don't fuck with the late night yes, texts yes. Yeah. yeah and what uh, what I'm, no no no, I'm no not first way that. can you say that you're not compatible because you guys don't fuck it's with the same stuff. Yeah. It's possible. Yes. It's possible. Really? Yes, yes, yeah. It's very it's possible because they are late night texting guys, bro. Those yes. guys are day. You will bathe with them. Those but guys <laughs> are day, bro. But it's not nece- you don't necessarily date the person you are compatible. With. Exactly. Who do you date? Yeah. <laughs> that's like for me as actually like my own little, little by little they because can no try like to no adjust your journey in yes, like either of the two that's has true. to adjust to that's the true. others like character but that's not my that's point true. that's very that's, true. that's not my point what i was saying was we are too old for us to be playing games if going back to his example if i say man this is how i like to be loved and you say kawa and then you revert and it happens over and over again But we're just wasting time, man. Sometimes Because they're like, yeah. It will it ten years from now, I will still have a problem with it. And now I'm stuck with you, man. Because now we've reached ten years. Like I'd rather not. There's some fundamental shit like that. There's some fundamental mm. stuff, bro. And so okay, so like your example of she likes to text late at night. That might not be like the most fundamental thing. Yeah. That one is imagine late. if it's like a chick who likes to text mm. and for you don't like to text at all, bro. Yeah, or you don't have whatsapp because guys are there mm. like where are, where do we meet bro like where do we meet in the middle you know what you, you uh, think compatibility is not that's very that's important just bro to him that's all that matters to me bro okay ah. man those things of busimanya i love calls and you see those things are very key when you've started because then i feel like after some time it just becomes second nature like if she loves call you will, you will call mm. but like when you've just started And for she saying I love calls. And for you like man, let me just nah, keep texting. Good yes. luck, bro. Good luck. In fact, that animal <laughs> says where you're trying to make compromises. Yeah, so she'll be like I love calls, you don't like calls, but you bro. have to call or show he likes calls, bro. There's nothing you can do there. Yeah. So me, if if I'm that guy, yeah. and I I love to be shown love back and yeah. she's not. I'm sorry. Release, bro. I release. release. I release. Things of Miss Maya, let me step back then see if she chases me. You have to, uh, bro. <sighs> They'll let you go. I feel like I'm too old yeah. for that, man. It's not like, chasing. It's, step it's not chasing. It's just showing. Yeah, let, go, let go and let go. But it also yeah. depends on the thing. Now if you're like, oh, man, is it really a 10? Like, a 10. You step back from a 10. Some, young, some years later, when you, you're still single, you're at your prime, she pulls. But, I don't know, bro. First of all, that, that 10 thing, I also released it, bro. I'd rather be I'd rather be happy than <laughs> happy. than be an an optic yeah, guy. It's not yeah. the Olympics. It's yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> this is not this is not like even if she's bad, bad how? Yeah. Bad yeah. how? I will step back. Bro. Yeah. I will step back. It's bro, it's too exhausting if you have a 10 and you're not feeling the love when you're 45. Facts. It's too exhausting. 
I like by the time you are 45 should be like a 8 probably so <laughs> <laughs> so you meet you meet in the middle <laughs> yo so you meet in the middle yeah. that's hilarious man. next so question you when she's at her peak hey, yeah. by the time you go together yeah. she starts yes, going just down dogs bro <laughs> that's so funny uh, next question which, which is actually related at this age can you be in a relationship with someone you can't marry Yeah, Windex. <laughs> Windex is a hell yes. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, yeah. Windex is brimming with youth, man. Yeah, <laughs> my, my guy is outside. Um, yeah, I can, bro. But like, they said that can I be in a relationship with someone that I can't marry? Nah, can't either. Nah, 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 bro. We're too grown for this, jazz. You're setting yourself can't. up, man. Like I'm dating you, but I know for a fact I cannot this marry. This can't go anywhere. Hell What no. What eliminates bro. the fact that okay. you can't marry? Guys, let's try to be fine. Can't. There can't is, is can't. No. What do you mean? No, there is this can't whereby I can't show you to my parents, but I fuck with you. Yeah. My parents may be like, nah. Yeah. This is not your girl. Yeah, that's definitely one of the can't. That's what you're meaning. Uh-huh. I might feel that's that would motivate me. I might feel that would motivate me even if I wasn't feeling you. For us, even if I wasn't feeling you that much, I would, if my parents say no, my family would probably go with you. I would be motivated. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I think the nah. can't I w- can work with is the can't where my parents can say no. But the can't where I say like, Hell no, nah. I'm not. What if you get pregnant? You get. I have to be like you have. I have to want you when I can also marry you, because in case you get married, like you get pregnant, can I still keep you? Mm. So, so what's your answer? Would you date a chick who you can't marry? My can't. No. Because it, it's my parents it, it, can't. What's yes. you? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I, I, I'm trying to understand what you mean. If this girl doesn't fit like what your parents would consider a, a, the type of girl you should marry, mm. then you wouldn't date her. I would marry her. I would date her rather. You would still date her, regardless. Mm. Mm, nah, mine's different. Mine is more like, like there's different, as if like, fundamental reasons why I can't marry that chick. And the f- like me not being able to introduce her to my parents is one of those fundamentals, bro. Like, because that means that there's something about her that I'm embarrassed of or that I know does not like align with the type of person that I am or the type of person my parents have raised me to be. You know what I mean? Mm. Like it means that there's something there that I'm like, man, I'm not sure if this chick is, yeah. she's not presentable as if type thing. Um, so no, I don't think I dated a chick who, a chick who I can't marry, bro. But that's not the only reason. Like there's other things. Yeah, bro, me, I would like, for me, I can't. I can't because one, I don't like setting myself up. I think mm-hmm. so we date for three years, then after I have to I know I'm, 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 yeah, I release you because now I've met the one I want to marry. Relax. Secondly, the parent thing, I don't think that applies to me because my parents keep telling me they trust me to get a good person. Same. Yeah. So, me too. By the time I get there, in my head, I already know. Like if we've already talked about dating, my parents will be cool with it. Because it's they, they they say it's still my marriage. I'll be on hand with it for them. They're just there to ensure <laughs> I've grown up. Kawa, third parties. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like that. So for me, it kind of doesn't apply to me. It's it's as he said, fundamental things that um that I would consider. Like if I say and I'm like this one, I can't. Why why would I date you? <laughs> we'll be by days, man. We'll be by days. You're not going to find me dating some someone where I can't see myself within a long time. Guys like setting themselves yeah. up. But don't get me wrong. The parenting is not the only reason. Yeah. Like there's other shit. There's other things. I can't judge them to the public. But if you're trying to date me, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Etani has a guest one day. Kando. Yeah. 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 That's cost. Your homie. Who? Your home. Homie. Your homie. You are a homie. You are a homie. Yeah. Um <laughs> you guys know those babes that were too hard while we were growing in whose direction you couldn't even look say you were in a committed relationship now and one of those babes slides she has maintained body status in brackets are you mazy no. that's the question <laughs> do you know Sydney a body that chick you consider to be a body at your let's say 18 She may not be a buddy at your current age. 
Somebody is back there. I can't say that. That's a usual trajectory, man. That's a usual trajectory. But somebody is from back there. No, regardless of the fact that she maintained the badness. I don't think she's the same chick. Like you, you can't find her attractive. Like when you were still eighteen, and now yeah. when you're like at the context has changed. Yeah. Mm. Like too much has changed, but bro. You've also changed as a man. Yeah, but and you've seen other bodies. bodies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, no. nah, nah, for me, like you see now, if you tell me I'm in a committed relationship, bro, like I don't know, I just can't. Yeah, yeah for me, know, yeah, I'm it trying to be from me, side to side, man. But listen. Greater men than me are faulted. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, yeah. Because greater men than me are faulted to, to the body. I don't know, bro. Like it's one of those things where, funny enough, when I was in a relationship, bro, mm. the body thing didn't move me. Didn't move me at all. So I don't think so. But again, as you said, yeah. And you can be unhappy in a committed relationship. True. So maybe it's if I'm possible. unhappy, maybe if I'm unhappy, but like. Even then, man, why not just release the relationship? But how long does it take you to have a body firmware update? A body what? Firmware update. As in terms of what? Firmware update. Like your skill adjusts. I can't really understand. This guy is doing a nerd. Okay. I can't bring everything back to computers. You know, uh, uh, the, the way I explained the earlier thing, yeah. whereby the chick you thought that she was a body when you were at a certain age. How long is it supposed to take for you to uh, to see her and then you're like, wait? I think uh, you are, you're not as, as a, like you know I as I expected you to be. Yeah, it. you get. I don't think it's a time. I'll say this also. I don't think that firmware is a right like analogy for the way bodies work. I think bodies are it's closer to like the stock market, bro. Stock market. <laughs> I feel right? like a body is very generic. If you get like a standard Campus or Kampala body. And you line them up, they all all look the same. Yeah, it will just be like, up but why not? It will just be up to personality. No, I, I think know, it's, like the, it's dependent the, on exposure. But even over the years, bro, it changes. Like, they have their periods where they are peaking, mm. then they thingy, then they, then they. Thingy, no, then they what I'm saying, like, keeping their body constant. First, chill this jazz off, or whether she's growing older, or whether she's getting fat, whatever. <laughs> She's constant. <laughs> the constant. The changes are, so are negligible. Bro. That's like Facebook, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is rare, bro. It's a rare. Like one of those things where you had to have seen it twenty years ago and bought. St- it's one of them ones. And me also think. I also think just the gen- the general sentiment is, like, do you know a chick can be, you can see as a body when you're young. Mm. Then she disappear for six years and you see her again and she's still a body because of absence, man. Makes a girl. It's also possible. So That's for true. me, like the general That's thing, true. like me, if I'm in a committed relationship, to go back to the question, not even satisfy like your younger ego, like <laughs> your chi form three avatar. That's, a problem, that's bro. the now. That's where the issue is. Just like man, you get we did it. She finally came around, man. That's where the real issue is. We had it in us. We had it in us. It was just yeah. the system. You have to quit yeah. the eighteen-year-old, bro. You have to. But yeah, sometimes her coming back. It. Sometimes her coming back is enough. And you just like pat yourself on the back, like, yeah. and you should come back, man. I leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> you had it like, you. Sorry, <laughs> man. Like, I knew I knew I had that. Yeah, just a I few knew. years late, but yeah. sorry. Yeah. 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 Next question personality or looks? I feel like we've answered this. Uh, eh. First, relax. This is for Casper. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My brothers in Christ, can we get an MJP FPL league for mobsters? Please don't make us pay. That's fair. Yeah, you're not paying That's this year. Fair. You're not paying this year. Well, their question is for mobsters, not like mm. the general public. Mm, should we do that? Do you think we have enough? Fair. Do you think we have enough patrons that like football? I'll ask the question. I'll ask the question. I'll ask it. Patron yeah, ask it. See. Ask it like tonight so we yeah, can see. But because yeah. we can do a special league for the pat- for the patrons and another for the. Wait, Let me ask does anything. this thing ask me anything like offer like the the what? Can you like send this thing like a poll type shit like you know hmm? a poll? Eh? Yeah, yeah, you can poll. You can with that thing, yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, but or maybe a, IG. Ah, no, IG can be seen by everyone. This is this, this is it's this particularly for patrons. So I'll ask I'll ask and see if if you're enough. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Unlikely but though. The general league is going to be free. Yeah. yeah. PL predictions time with. 
done that. How do we buy much? Eh, hey. to be continued. To be continued. Okay. Eh. Melvin Kangaroo, Cheetah, Jaguar, or Elephant. You know what this means. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is very personal. Man. I think I, w- I think I bounced between kangaroo and elephant. I think I bounced between kangaroo and but my sister was cheetah. That's what I remember. Hey, like, this is like the houses. The houses that I got. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. um, I think this, this this is from last week's episode. They say self test kits test for presence of antibodies for every foreign body in the case. In, in, in this case, virus for HIV. The body produces unique antibodies to fight the foreign body. So there's no way an HIV test will be positive because someone has malaria. Yeah, but what about the flu? Because that's, uh, that's what we said. What about the flu? If I have a cold, or if I have COVID, what would the HIV test show? Because I imagine it would also produce antibodies to fight a virus. Yeah, but they added another one. To note as well, there's a window period for HIV where someone might have contracted the virus, but have contracted the virus, but not the antibodies. But, but the antibodies are not yet detectable. Mm. It's usually 90 days after possible exposure. For the rapid tests, so a negative. Oh? For the rapid tests, so a negative after exposure needs to be confirmed again after mm. 90 days. That is true. Imagine waiting 90 days and then doing it again and you're like, damn, I could have taken that <laughs> what? The what? Pip, prep, pip. Pip. Damn. Yeah. Anyhow. Anyway, for those who don't know, we had a whole discussion about HIV, HIV on the Patreon. So, yeah. Just some feedback. I mainly consume my pods visually, which is why I'm glad I joined the Patreon. But I'd appreciate if the videos could be posted a little bit earlier. Not for the okay, relax. My it bad. It has been two, two pods. It. Ah. It's been two <laughs> pods that we've delivered late. Relax. First of all, in the past few weeks, we were posting the video before the audio, man. Yeah. Yeah, but we're well, sorry, but relax. <laughs> but we're sorry. Yeah, this is for Casper again. For those who don't know, Casper is our new resident voice. Voice, mm. yeah. She only appears on Patreon, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, next one. Is it just me or are fruits and vegetables from our food markets getting more tasteless? Mm. Banana and, ad- and avocado are leading the charge. Fair. Mm. To be fair, even the tomatoes, man. Nowadays they are somehow. Mm. Yeah, it's cause it's cause they have to be produced faster, so the varieties they're coming up with are like very generic test. Yeah, like they, a basic they test. compromise certain things, bro. You know, to create like a, a quicker thing. I imagine also that nutrition is maybe lesser. Than it was I, I, I think it is. I think it is. There's a way, man. Th- yesterday I bought oranges, yeah, and they're just not the same. Like the juice I made was just. Mm. They're just not the same. So I, I definitely I agree. I agree. Last one. You have good style. Thank you. This must be for you, man, because That's I awesome. don't dress for the pod. So That's yeah. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. Listen, man. Thank you guys for asking all these questions. Um this week I think we'll be doing like a Kaizei's experiment. We'll see which of the two pods guys enjoy more. Whether this Tuesday, uh, Tuesday one or the Friday one, um, yeah, our turnaround time on the pod is much faster than it was before, so you guys will receive this pod tomorrow. Um, yeah, man, but it feels good to be back. Does We're excited to see the reception of this pod. Um, we missed you guys. Yeah, and let's just see what the rest of the year has to has to do, man. The rest of the year says, yeah. Um, Stephen, thank you so much for coming on the pod, bro. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, happy, what do they call it? Before it's your birthday, not belated. Happy what? I think it's still belated. No, nah, not belated. Belated is after. Yeah, but like I think it applies to both. Happy birthday on the weekend. <laughs> happy birthday <laughs> this Friday. Happy, thank happy you. birthday. You've just made uh, In advance. Nah, can't be belated. Yeah, in yeah. advance. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday in advance. Um, yeah, man. FPL code will be up on our IG tomorrow. Um... Yeah, I think maybe the match thing will be up as well. Uh, Until then, man. Y'all take care. Peace. Africa must unite.